Hi, I'm Ryan. I'm a data analyst. In previous videos, we talked about data action, data quality checking, and data analytics skills. In this video, we discuss about coding for data analytics. When we analyze data, get a good result, and report to management, this benefits organization, but not enough. For example, after analyzing the outcomes of a clinical trial, we state that a new intervention provides significant improvement to patients. However, we might need to do more analysis to convince if we work in a real environment and the post-market monitoring for the long-term benefit to patients. By consumer behavior analysis, marketing manager develops a new marketing event. He needs to keep checking data during the whole event period to make sure it works well. Audit team analyzed the daily operational log. They found fraud cases and related compliance leakage. They worked out a mitigation plan with the business owner. After that, Audit team wants to analyze operational data regularly to make sure everything is fine. We call this continuous monitoring. It maximizes the benefit of data analysis for organizations. To repeat the analysis, we need programming rather than just click the menu in analytics tools. Programming for data analytics is very different from software development. The key is data. Normal software development do not need data. In fact, they will generate data after deployment. Programming for data analytics is working on existing data. The process should be like this, doing the explorational or say ad hoc analysis first. After the result confirmed, P2 correct steps, coding for continuous monitoring. Let's take a look at below case. First, I've given some background information. The sales manager wants to do some study on customer behavior in order to find out which product combinations will show up more often in one single order so that he might develop some cross-product selling strategies. Any more questions you want to ask the data? As we have the customer information, I would like to do some customer behavior study. For example, how often a customer will put order or any product combinations a customer will buy together in one order. Okay, let me try. But what do you mean product combination? Oh, do you hear about the story about diaper and beer? Ah, I understand. Let me take a look. For example, this is these records are belong to the same invoice number in the same invoice, and this product number at this product number is is a compilation of product number. Correct. Count once. And this one at this one is an another combination. No. Oh, uh, at one more condition. We only care the combination across the different product class. Because if the product are in the same product class, it is normal they are put together in the same order. We only care those product combination in different product class. Then we can do some cross BU promotion. Understand? So this is the product combination you care, and maybe this one and this one add together, and of of course this one and this one. Yes, they all count for once. Okay, let me do some preparation. Okay, let me add some filter, invoice number not blank and port number not blank too okay make sure these key fields are all good and then write to reorder the table to invoice number and port number here we are take a look so the common table have such order all the invoice number together and then the product 
lumbar in ascending within the inverse lumbar portal lumbar ascending okay after we got this table i have to write a short script no way to use the menu again okay make sure we chose the right table yep we use this on all the table to do why make sure invoice number equal to my compass set invoice number So when the invoice number is still the same with the next one, oh no, only next one next. We can't. Then we'll do something. First of all, we have a combination. Go to we add the product number together. Okay, product number. So, product number. Combination will equal to, yep, then we got new coming up. I need to identify the combination first. Simple. Uh, and then I can check fields. Let's keep the invoice number. Then the yeah, combination. Product combination. Okay. And uh, let's put the product class just represent we got the Product combination belong to two different product class. If only if these two are not the same, belong to two different product class, not equal to the other product class. Okay, good. So, very important to count. Okay, cool. Combination and uh, we can loop. We have the loop to make sure every record find the potential combination as long as they belong to the same image number and not the same podcast. Okay, cool. Let's run the script. Okay, here we go. So, yes, this is the result. This is the combination. It belongs to this image number and make sure these two products belong to different product class. Wonderful. But we still have one more step to 
do a summarize to count how many times the combination for the combination yes and okay step test six product combination okay so each product combination how many times in our whole year cells appear in the whole year cells so let's do a statistic on this number of times yes here we are of course the minimum is one times maximum is 34 times let's take a look at the top five okay ah uh, because there's the same number so it will actually more than five records so these are the top product combinations during the whole year sales and also this is your diaper and beer we can do much more tests over the sales data doing data analytics just like asking the business questions so as long as you have the questions during your daily work we can find the answers from the data so if you have any questions about this video or any other cases you want to analyze, of course we need the data. Please feel free to contact me and uh, let's play with data together.